Hey y'all, this is Sergeant Dan with Palmetto Edge. I got another review for you today. This time it is of the Zero Tolerance 0556. I'll let you get a good look at it here. Um, get my close up. It's one, one thing I want to start doing. I do it on my unboxings, but a lot of my knives uh, I've had for a while and don't, uh, anyway, don't uh, actually unbox on the channel because I've got them. Uh, had them for longer than I've had the channel, so get my close up done here. And then once I'm done with this, we will go into size comparisons. So here it is up against the Benchmade Bug Out, and here it is up against the I was about to call that a Kershaw. What's wrong with me? Not that there's anything wrong with Kershaw, but that's... Anyway, the Spyderco Pair 3. Um, so, yeah, there it is up against the two, as you can see there. Um, so, uh, yeah. Let me hint you, uh, uh, fill you in on one little thing here that I just noticed here. You notice all three of these have lanyards on them? If there's a knife that I carry a whole lot... Chances are I've got a lanyard on it. I'm not someone that likes to have a lanyard to show off fancy beads or anything like that. I just like that extra little bit of something to grip on as I'm pulling it out of the pocket to make sure i got a good grip on it, okay? So, yeah. So if that tells you anything about where this review is going, you know, spoiler alert, right? Alright, so, um, specifications. Overall length on this one is 7.7 .7 inches with a 3.25 inch blade length. Blade material is, where is it? It's on here somewhere. There it is. CPM S35VN steel, which is one of my favorite steels. Um, really, really love it. Um, Stonewash blade, G10. G10 on one side. Stainless steel on this side. Um, got your deep carry pocket clip. And it is four-way carry on this one. So left hand, right hand, tip up, tip down. I actually carried this one tip down for a little while. I'm not someone that's real uh, picky about that. Uh, I carried it tip down for a little while. And as you can see, I've got it tip up now. That's just the way I prefer to carry this one. It is a assisted open with the little flipper thing here. Um, let's see. It's a little heavy. It's on the heavy side. I don't know the exact weight, okay? If, if you've seen some of my reviews before, then you know that... Weight's not a huge deal to me. Actually, it's not really a deal at all when it comes to knives. If it's a knife I like, I'm going to carry it. I don't really care how much it weighs. Um, I know there's some people out there that do. So so when I tell you the knife's heavy, that means that I notice, yeah, this one's a little heavy. You might, If you're someone that's picky about the weight, you might want to check it out before you, before you go too far with uh, deciding on this one. Um, let's see. I said spring-assisted. Uh... Let's see. Made in USA. It's a ZT, so made in the USA, which is always a wonderful plus. And if you see that right there, that that name right there, that Hinderer. This is a Rick Hinderer designed knife, and he is one of my absolute favorite knife designers. Um, so, yeah. Guys, let me just say, I have a, uh, I have a Kershaw Cryo that I carry at work a lot, um, like like every time I work. Uh, and that one is my workhorse. That is my beater knife. It is my workhorse. It's, uh, I've had it for years. It's a Cryo 2, okay? So it's the bigger version. The Cryo 2 is bigger than the Cryo, so it's the Cryo 2. Um, absolutely love, love, love that knife. It is also a Rick Hinderer design. Um, and in my opinion, this one right here, the 0566, is the ZT version of the Kershaw Cryo. And let me just say, as much as I love that knife, this one has taken its place. I don't carry my Cryo anymore because I carry this one instead. Um, I probably shouldn't shouldn't do that. Uh, cryos are still being made. I could replace that one a whole lot cheaper and a whole lot easier than this one, but man, when you love a knife so much, you just love it. 
guys, this thing is ergonomically wonderful. Okay, for me, keep in mind, this is all my opinion. This is my experience. I know there's people that, uh, there's people out there that take what a reviewer says as the gospel, and when they find out that it doesn't apply to them, they're they're chastised and stuff like that. Okay, keep in mind, my me as well as all other reviewers, we try to keep as uh, objective as we can. Okay, but when it comes to ergonomics, if it fits my hand, then it fits my hand, and I love it. It might not fit yours, right? Okay, so something like that. Just wonderful, wonderful in hand. It's got the grippy G10 on this side. Um, it's got jimping in all the right places, okay, uh, the, the finger grooves are in all the right places, just the perfect size, perfect, perfect width, perfect girth, all that great stuff, the pocket clip is just low profile, okay, so it doesn't get in the way, you don't even notice it's there when you're gripping, um, it is a frame lock on it, okay, and it locks up wonderfully, I know there's been, uh, Certain, some issues with some ZTs in the past where people will do these wicked hard spine wax on them and get them to get them to um, uh, fail. Okay, I get that. I, I get that you don't want a knife to do that, but on the other hand, who's going to be taking their knife and going wham, 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 wham? Okay, you know, I, I try and keep my testing and my carry time for reviews and all within practicality. Okay. I don't go doing crazy stuff like that because, you know, would who, who in their right mind would do that in their daily life anyway, right? Okay. I'm sorry, I'm getting off on tangents on this video. I don't know what's up. <laughs> um, blade shape has a wonderful, wonderful blade shape with a wonderful grind on it. Um, it is, uh, like I said, a hinderer design. That's always a plus for me. A, a a true Rick Hinderer knife, one of the XM18s or an XM24 or something like that, is on my bucket list, on my grail list, okay? But, man, at 450 bucks, I can get a Hinderer right here for 120 130 right? I mean, it doesn't say that it's a Hinderer, it's a ZT, but at least I got that Hinderer name there, okay? Um, so, uh, like I've said before, four-way... Uh, pocket clip on here so you can carry it however you want whichever pocket you want it in uh, one thing to note that some people some people love some people hate uh, it is an assisted open knife okay um, there's people that will absolutely refuse to buy a knife because it's assisted I, I actually like assisted knives it's not that I I, I actually it's not that I pick an assisted knife over an unassisted or anything like that, but a knife being assisted is not an issue for me. Can sometimes be a plus in my opinion. Okay, I'm uh, I'm a police officer, and there has been times in my career so far where I needed a knife, and I needed it, you know, quick. Uh, not not for self defense. Okay, not anything like that. Thank God. Thank God. Okay, and I hope that 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 never happens to me. All right, but um. There have been times where I've needed a knife and I've needed it now and I've had my cryo specifically, okay? And all I got to do is hit that tab and it's open and I know it's a barring some catastrophic failure with with the mechanism and all that stuff, that knife's open, okay? Whereas if I were to go with uh say my bug out here, I try to open it and I don't get it quite open and I go to start using it, that knife's going to close down on my fingers and now all of a sudden I'm in need of uh, medical attention too. Okay. So as far as the way I think for my line of work and stuff like that, I love assisted opens. I love automatics. And this knife is just, it's got that speed safe, Kershaw speed safe assist feeling to it. Okay. Uh, while still being a nicer knife, like a ZT. Um, one thing I do want to know, it is a strong, uh, fairly strong one. So doing just the finger tab there it can it can dig in you see oh, come on you see it can dig in it's a real strong one so what i tend to do is i tend to get my finger on the, the flipper here and my thumb on the blade stop and kind of do them both at the same time and it's just that just makes it exponentially easier to open doing that um so yeah um, 
Let's see. What else do I have? Oh, it's a deep carry pocket clip. So when this thing, when you have this thing in your pocket, there is very little of it sticking up, okay? And if actually, if you have it in the tip-down configuration, it almost fully conceals this thing in your pocket. Okay, just like a cryo. Just like, I, I wish I had my cryo here to compare it to. I don't know why I didn't bring my cryo with me. I, I need to start getting better at stuff like that. But, guys, I can't, I can't brag on this knife enough. I absolutely love it. Um, so... I mean, I'm standing here going, man, is there anything that I can even complain about with it? Um, let me look it over. Let me look it over and see. Let me hold it. Um, I guess if I were being nitpicky, I would say I wish that the spring wasn't quite as strong so that just using the, the flipper tab there was a little bit easier than it is. But man, I, that's just being absolutely as nitpicky as I can be. Um, I mean, look, blade centering on it is perfect. Absolutely. Excuse me, y'all. Absolutely perfect. Um, guys, I, 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 I've got no complaints. I've got zero complaints about this knife, y'all. Um even the price, let me get into the price on it right now. Uh, the price on this one in particular is um, $129.99 on Blade HQ, so $130. Um, one thing to note, uh, I have seen kind of conflicting information on this, but I am almost sure that the uh, 0566s from ZT are being discontinued. Okay, so whatever whatever is out there right now is all there is. Um, like all websites, Blade HQ, GP Knives, Smoky Mountain Knife Works, Knife Center, Blade Ops, all, all those people that carry them, whatever they've got is what they've got, what there is, okay? Now, there's a lot of them out there. It's not like this is some custom knife that, you know, ZT only made, you know, a thousand of a year or something like that. If you'll see the serial number on mine, mine's number 17,503, okay? So there's there's a bunch of them out there. Um, uh, they come in different uh, variants. This one is the one with the stonewash blade and the G10 handle. Uh, there's also one with a black stonewash blade and a G10 handle, and there's also one with a stonewash blade and a carbon fiber handle. Uh, at one point in time, there was also one with a black stonewash blade and a carbon fiber handle. So, um, yeah, and the the prices range from like 130 to 150, 160, something like that. But that's actually on uh, on sale in, in most retailers than what they were before they were discontinued or whatever. Okay, so so uh, keep that in mind if you're interested. Jump on one while you can before they're all gone. Um, uh, with that being said, though, this one right here is the $130 version. So $130 from Blade HQ. I, I, I want to think I, after I bought this one, I looked and there was a couple of places that had them for $120. So, you know, shop around a little before you pull the trigger. Uh, don't do like I did. <laughs> um, so between $120 and $130, that is a wonderful, wonderful price for this knife, okay? Keep in mind, it is basically a hinderer knife that's made by ZT. Uh, you've got ZT's quality, ZT's uh, customer service. So at $130, I can't complain one bit about this thing. Um, if something were to happen to it, where ZT wouldn't warranty it for me, would I replace it? abso freaking lutely um, if I can, you know, if I can, they're, they're discontinued. So if I can, um, this knife is now in, in my normal on duty carry where, where the Kershaw cryo would be. This knife is now in its place. So this is, this knife has gotten use. This knife has gotten carried. If you can't tell from the, from the wear on the pocket clip, I mean, I actually do carry it. It's hard to tell wear on a blade, but, um, I carry it. I've used it. I absolutely love this knife, guys. 
uh, if you're someone that doesn't care too much about, uh, uh, you know, one way or another about assisted opening or loves an assisted open, then absolutely get you one. Uh, I want to think, heck, I think I've even seen where some people have de-assisted them and they still work great, okay? So I can't recommend this knife any higher. Uh, absolutely love it. It's a great, great EDC, uh, good tactical knife. Um, so yeah, guys, I absolutely love this one. Thank you for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, check out the Instagram and the Twitter. Uh, not really using my Twitter because I think I've only got like three followers on, on Twitter. Uh, so, you know, once I get more, I might start picking up on that. But anyway, that's beside the point, guys. Thank y'all for watching. Y'all have a good one.